Hello, mystical being. Welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and thank you so much for allowing me to join you on your journey today. So, I see you want to manifest a little boo thing, uh, which is fine. And I just want to let you know that this, the, this what I'm going to talk about today, it applies to friends, to family members you want to reconnect with, romantic partners, doesn't matter gender, sexuality, identity, none of that matters, right? We're talking about energy here. So I'm going to tell you all how to manifest a specific someone into your life, but it's not going to be the way I think you're thinking it's going to be. So before we get into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. What are you doing? Join the tribe, become a mystical being today. And also check out my link tree in the description box below. I have a couple of links there in my Instagram. You can book a service with me, yada, yada, yada. But let's just get right into this, all right? I waste enough of an intro. So what I wanna talk about first is the concept of manifestation, right? And this is something that I have also kind of grappled with, with trying to understand. So when we, I want to start off by saying I started off my energy work at, with witchcraft. So a lot of my perspective is with a witch perspective. Um, but I've, I've kind of grown more. I do still practice witchcraft, but I kind of am more into just energy healing. I don't feel the need to like label myself as a witch, you know, anyways side part. But when we think about manifesting, we think about, you know, writing things down, speaking it into the universe, yada, 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 which is all true. But, asterisk, but, a lot of times we forget that, yes, spirituality is a little bit woo-woo, you know, energy manipulation, but also we need to put our own physical effort into our manifestations, into our spell work, right? So, for example, if you're trying to find a romantic partner and you're manifesting, you're, you're doing spells, you're carrying the rose quartz, you're, you're dreaming about it, but then you're not on any, any dating apps and when someone looks at you in public, you're like, you're like, don't look at me. Well, you're sending very conflicting energy out to the universe. So first things first, get clear on what you want, right? Get clear on what you want. What do you expect them to be like? What is their family going to treat you like? How are you going to treat them? What are the things you have in common? I mean, get, get specific with this, all right? So with manifesting in general, you have to fully believe in it, write it down, do some kind of uh, energy work with it, and then put your own physical energy into that effort. So it's the same thing with like if you want a job. You can do a money spell, a career spell, but then if you're not sending applications anywhere, you're not going to get this dream job you're looking for, right? So that's just a general rule with manifestation is you have to wholeheartedly believe that it's going to happen for you, and then you have to put your own energy into it. So I know that seems like an obvious statement to say, but sometimes we just don't think about it that way. Sometimes when we're working on something for so long or we desire something for so long, sometimes we, we continue to give energetically, but then we forget to give physically as well. So I just want to put that in there as a little reminder. So continuing on, something that's very important too is when especially, I have a video about love magic, okay? Generally, I don't like love magic or love manifestation unless the party is consenting, right? But when in specifically you're trying to manifest a romantic partner, you have to be careful because, and this is all my opinion. By the way, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. This is all my opinion. This is all of my eight years of research and path and everything like this. So always, of course, look into things yourself as well. Use me as a resource, not as the definitive answer. But love energy is very tricky, right? Because you don't, I always say love spells when the person is not consenting, it's like forcing someone into a marriage. It's like, you can't, you can't do that. So rather than attracting a specific person, try attracting an energy. Like I was mentioning earlier. So let's say I really love Oh my God, I just saw a murder hornet outside my window. <gasps> no, okay. All right, so this is important. You know, spirituality, we got to take everything as a sign, right? 
murder hornet. Yeah, you don't want to take away this person's free will. So think of them as an energy. Why would, the first person that came to my mind was PewDiePie. We're going to roll with it. Let's say I want to I want to date someone like PewDiePie. Okay, I'm, I'm attracted to PewDiePie. Uh, I like his style. Rather than manifesting PewDiePie, let's say if he wasn't married, right? Rather than manifesting Felix himself, I'm going to take those attributes, qualities, and characteristics and then create an energy, create a new being. Because here's the thing. You're not... I hate, I, okay, don't shoot the messenger, all right? Most of the time, if you're doing this spell with someone specific in mind, yes, it can work, but you're playing with their free will, okay? And I am all about people doing whatever the hell they want with their craft. So this isn't me telling you what to do. This is me just telling you how I see it, okay? So I, and okay, so I, I manifested my current boyfriend. I brought out the papers where I wrote these things down. So I didn't meet my boyfriend until January something of 2022. And this first manifestation uh, writing is dated November 15th through the 20th, 2021. So I started this writing, I wanted a boyfriend before that, <laughs> but I started writing these manifestations back in November of 2021 and I met him in January, November, December, January. It took three months of consistent effort, okay? But it's worth it. That's why sometimes with manifesting, it doesn't work because we're not consistently giving that effort. But let me describe, okay, so I'm gonna read one of these to you so I can tell you how I manifested this, right? So um, I wrote uh, affirmations here. I said, I am grateful for all the love and joy and abundance that finds me this week. I am open, I am ready, I receive, I am free, okay? So that right there is opening me up. It's opening me up to any kind of energy that I allow into my life, positive, right? I wrote here, the man I'm manifesting has found me. He met me somewhere I'd expect and was very straightforward about his, uh, his attraction to me, but in a respectful, funny manner. He is looking for a girlfriend, but most importantly, his future wife. He puts in equal amounts of energy as I do. There were instant sparks between us. He's more amazing than I could ever imagine. I'm so blessed we found each other. I didn't write a name. I didn't write what he looks like, which you can. But I'm telling you what, my current boyfriend, he does not look like the typical guys I go for. He's hot, he's sexy, he's attractive. I like him. But the type of guys I usually go for, they have longer hair than me, tattoos, piercings looks like Jesus, essentially. <laughs> essentially, I go for the guys that look like Jesus. But he's completely different from that. But what I did is I wrote a person. I wrote characteristics. I wrote how we're gonna met, when we're gonna met. I wrote here, he has found me. He met me somewhere I'd expect and was very straightforward about his attraction to me, but in a respectful, funny manner. So let me tell you this, all right? First things first, if you're gonna be manifesting these things, download dating apps. I know, I know, ew, yuck, I know. I was, I had to live on the dating apps too. But the reason why I'm advising you to download the dating apps is because it allows spirit to pull things to you. You know, if you're someone who believes like if a tarot reading pops up on your recommended feed and you feel attracted, you should watch it. Or if something comes up on your Instagram and you don't think it's a coincidence, Allow spirit to pull people to you, okay? Because from November to January, I went on a few dates with people and they almost, they, they were all, it's like maybe this person was what I was describing but they're lacking here. Or this person has what that person was missing but now they're lacking this. You know, it was very, it was very like, okay, I almost have it, I almost have it, I almost have it, but internally, I knew I was manifesting him. I knew I was going to meet someone like this. So he didn't meet my man or meet my, if the guy I went on a date with did not meet my manifestations, did not meet my standard, my quality, even if they were a nice person. 
Something I just want to add here too is that even if I liked the guy and we had a good connection, they would like move away or we would just lose contact. So spirit was really making that diligent effort to block those connections because I was starting to settle and we don't want to do that. Don't settle, okay? Keep, I mean, I started doing, physically writing it. I, I wanted a boyfriend way before that, but physically writing it down was November, okay? So be specific. I mean, when I met, when I went on my date with my boyfriend, uh, I met him on Hinge. Uh, I just, I usually vet someone out before I go on like a date with them, but I just, I got stood up that night by someone else. And this guy we matched, he's very nice, very polite. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go meet him. I met with him. Instant sparks. He was so funny, so sweet. And I remember walking back to my car. He was walking with me and he was like, <laughs> he gave me like a Google review. You know, I really like you. I think you're funny. You're so smart. I forgot, you know, exactly what he said, but he basically gave me a Google review. And the way he told, um, he was straightforward with his actions to me, but in a respectful, funny manner. And it was exactly that. It was exactly that. He told me he's looking for a girlfriend. Cause you know, when you go on dating apps, a lot of people are just looking for uh, intimate times with each other rather than a relationship. So I made sure to, I, like, you have to write these details down. You got to be specific. But I know I wrote somewhere like, his family's gonna love me. We're gonna have fun together even if we have nothing planned. We're comfortable in the awkward silence that comes up when you run out of things to say. Like, I literally was so specific. I didn't care about physical attributes. Cause for me, I, I've learned that when you try to manifest a specific looking person, it takes longer and it's harder. And I'll tell you what, the more specific you are, the more your relationship is going to be how you want it to be. Not only that, but it's going to attract someone that's also looking for the same things you are. So if you're looking for a friend, take the attributes and qualities and situations you would want to be with and want to have in a friend. Hello? Like these, these, the more, I know I just keep saying this, but I can't stress it enough. Be specific. Don't be afraid of it not happening. Because that's the thing. When I wrote these manifestations, I wholeheartedly knew it would happen. I truly believed that I was going to meet this person. And let me tell you something. My current partner literally is exactly what I manifested. I didn't think this guy in my head specifically, but I thought I took the characteristics, qualities, attributes, um, and personalities of the men I have met in my life that I did like. And I applied it and made someone brand new, okay? So what's important is when you send out this energy, it's important to specify you want to attract someone who wants the same things as you. And that's exactly what happened. He was looking for a girlfriend. I was looking for a boyfriend. Boom. Perfect. Step one, right? It can be, and those of you on dating apps, you know how difficult it is to find, especially a man who wants to go on a real date with you and not try to hook up, you know? So this is just a really nice way to anchor in what you want you have to believe in it though you can't feel like you're being delusional while you're writing it all right so let's get a quick recap summary of the video so first things first when you manifest understand how energy manipulation works be specific do not manifest someone specific Manifest the qualities and attributes of someone. Anything else? I don't know. I don't think so. I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. I know sometimes when I watch manifesting videos, I feel a little bit confused while watching them. So I hope I was able to explain this in a way that kind of makes sense. But y'all, I know you can do this. You deserve love. Everyone deserves love, whether it's from a friend, family member, or a romantic partner. Just keep at it. You deserve love. You are worthy. And that could be another thing you do. Before you manifest, maybe you should change your mindset and how you view yourself. 
Well, anyways, mystical beings, that's going to conclude the video today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my link tree down below. Book a service with me. I do tarot, Reiki. I also do yoga. I'm trying to figure out something to do with my yoga um, online. Would you all want videos? yoga routine videos i don't freaking know i'm trying to figure something out with that still but i hope you enjoyed don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe become a mystical being today and yeah i'm sending you all so much love and light take care